everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add custom token to Trust Wallet. Watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Also press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another upcoming update from us. Now let's get started with the video. Tap open your Trust Wallet application and make sure that you're logged in. To add custom token for Trust Wallet, go to the top right hand corner of the screen and tap on the toggle button. Now you can go ahead and search for the token into the search bar that you're looking for. Don't find the token in the search list. Then you can scroll all the way down and you'll be able to see a button that says add custom token. Tap it on in order to add custom token for your Trust Wallet. Tokens are digital assets that are created within a blockchain application. Trust Wallet is compatible with a number of blockchains where tokens are issued on the Ethereum network or on the Binance Smart Chain and SPL tokens on the Solana blockchain are among instances. If you want to add custom token for yourself, then tap on the network name at the top of the screen and search for the token that you are trying to add. In my case, I'm going to choose Smart Chain. Soon after you do that, you'll need to type in the contact address of Smart Chain. Simply go ahead and type in the contract address of BNB Smart Chain into the text box right beneath. You can also use the QR code scanner to easily get the token details. Let me tap on the QR code reader at the right corner and now scan the QR code for Smart Chain from your other device. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to enter the contract address into the text box. Now type in the name of the token. After you scan the contract address, the other details like name, symbol and decimals should be automatically filled up. If not, fill them in manually and tap on the save button in the upper right hand corner. Remember that if the token is not listed on CoinMarketCap, the price information will not show up. That is how it can be easily done. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more tutorial videos like this. Thank you for watching.